Building community partnerships can assist early learning and care centres and schools to provide holistic supports for children's development. The AEDC provides educators and leaders with an evidence base, connecting them with the right supports for children and families. As part of the National Quality Standards, we aim to build and sustain positive relationships, positive working relationships with the community. We notice that a lot of our families um, do come from culturally and linguistically diverse backgrounds. So when we were employing educators uh, to work with our children, we thought about the strengths that we would need, such as having being able to speak two or three languages fluently uh, and we now have 14 languages spoken fluently across the campus which means that we're able to support a lot of our community members that do come from those culturally and linguistically diverse backgrounds. We were quite surprised when we did look at our community profile because we saw that we had quite a high level of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander families living within our region. However, we weren't seeing that reflected in our enrolment numbers at the Lockridge campus. So we began to think about the ways that we could help our families or future potential families feel supported in their parenting roles. The journey of reconciliation through a reconciliation action plan was around the small things that we could do to make families feel safe and included in our environments. So we started with our foyer where we made sure that we had small symbols of um, a welcoming space available to families. Using the community profile from the AEDC really helped us to facilitate conversations with the community um, and when we did meet with agencies we had a common language in which we were able to share uh, key messages about our children and how we could further support their learning and development. We very much wanted to place ourselves at the heart of the community. Schools are a very expensive resource and I believe they should be open um, for many more points of access for community members. We attempt to have the school open pretty much from six in the morning till six in the evening through a mix of external agencies and external providers and we look at the school as being a place where families can start to reach out or be referred to additional services that may be of support to them. Establishing relationships with external providers can sometimes be a bit of a difficulty. We try to challenge that and provide reasons and opportunities for other agencies to work alongside us. Uh, I believe that data sharing is probably the best way to do that, where I can demonstrate that our data and their data are actually uh, seeking to achieve the same outcomes then external agencies or service providers are usually willing to jump in with us. Um, by using my ADC data and sharing it with other agencies, um, it's the quickest way to ensure that that happens. We became aware of a local agency that was providing a resource to um, new migrant families who had low levels of English um, within the wider community. Um, they effectively lost their resource base and place to operate from. So as soon as I heard this, I was on the phone, um, contacted them, let them know that I had a place that they could use for free. So we ended up with a supported multicultural playgroup. The benefit to us was that we were able to reach out to families um, from our cold community um, in a way that we just wouldn't have been able to do before. Um, as an additional benefit, this resource brought into school translators um, every three or four weeks. So where my teachers may have a child from that language background that they were had, having some troubles around or maybe some difficulties communicating with the family, we suddenly had access to uh, an interpreter who could support that process. Having seen the developmental vulnerability of the children, the school employed a school counsellor who could reach out to families and support parents and begin to build a sense of trust. One of the things that uh, the AEC data enabled us to do was to have an evidence base as to how I was able to allocate school resourcing as a school leader. Um, having seen how developmentally vulnerable the children were, I decided that by employing a community development worker, we would be able to reach out to families and support parents in establishing playgroups. What we found with this approach is that parents are becoming a lot more empowered in their role. 
A big part of my role was actually building relationships and through those activities, very simple activities like breakfast club programmes, where you would be there with the children, however parents might come in and drop them off. And you slowly, gradually built the relationship with the families and then they were more than likely to come and see me in a counselling role or a social work role after, um, I suppose, kind of getting to know me and trusting me. Westfield Park Primary School has seen the benefits of engaging with families in the early years through decreases in children arriving at school developmentally vulnerable. Carolee Community School is working with their community partners to support children's learning. The school has shared their AEDC data with their partners to support children's holistic development across the community. We're very fortunate at Carrelly Community School to be part of the Southwest Metropolitan Partnership Forum, which is a group of uh, philanthropic groups, uh, not-for-profit groups, and three schools, as well as the City of Melville and City of Coburn. As schools and as a partnership, we share data, uh, including the AEDC data and other data sets, including attendance and behaviour. So the AEDC data confirmed what we knew, that a significant number of our kids come from challenging backgrounds. Although our core business happens between nine and three, we realise that as an organisation we can help um, the literacy and numeracy needs of kids before and after school. We realised there was a challenge in the Willoughby Library and the kids were not engaging in the library appropriately, they weren't necessarily behaving the way they do normally at school. So we took the decision uh, to meet the needs of our community and temporarily move an education assistant there two afternoons a week to help the kids. The results were fantastic and we saw attendance rise, we saw behaviour improve in the library and we now work with our partner organisations, the City of Melville and Fremantle Foundation and they now fund that position after school. To find out more on how you can use the AEDC to build partnerships in your community, visit the Western Australian Department of Education or AEDC website.